What's up friends, this is Money and welcome to the actual end boss in Armored Core 6. Ladies and gentlemen, he's back. Freaking V2 Snail, this guy just keeps appearing out of thin air and this time he afforded himself a goddamn Valteos. Oh no, I when I saw this I was like, oh, are you kidding me? We're gonna have to do this again? But this time it's more difficult than the previous one even. He's got some new moves and uh, this thing is really, really freaking powerful. In my opinion, the most difficult thing to fight in the game. And I remember while I was playing this against him, I was cursing him so much. I was being like... I fought freaking Ibis 240, I fought the Z weapons, you're nothing compared to that. But the thing is, and the truth is, he was something compared to that. He was freaking powerful as heck. And this is my struggle in this video that you're gonna get here my, the best moments and, uh, and also my progression towards winning this fight because it took me a while. And to learn his movesets, to understand what I should and should not be doing because my goodness, that thing is an absolute beast. All right, so we're getting them staggered here. Thankfully, I got that double Songbird grenade cannon still on my shoulders. Very useful here. But the double pull, the, this pulse blade isn't really getting the job done so well. I mean, it's not bad, but it just doesn't seem to cause enough impact damage for staggering and also just generally enough damage um, to, yeah, to get, to get him a lot of damage into him here. These hits are fine, but imagine I would use the pile bunker that I have, you know, used for many other things, uh, where I killed the other Balteos in 30 seconds. I mean, I have the uh, the skill set to end uh, Rusty Nightfall Raven in literally five seconds, and and the same to also delete a Balteos in 30 seconds and stuff like this. I, I got this down, but with this guy here and with the setup of the pulse plate, not really the other thing. Yeah, I'm not feeling too well. This was one of my first runs. Not, I think it wasn't the first run. It was one of the first. Um, and it looked rather promising. It looked like, yeah, maybe I can deal with it, right? Um, but I've already used all my repair kits. And although I feel like I am doing a pretty decent job at dashing uh, and dodging his attacks and getting hits in, that reappearing energy shield all the time after like 10 seconds or whatever, paired with this and uh, and the fact that he goes up has this freaking laser beams these ones here that is really causing me to have a problem with him seriously man so i got destroyed here in my um maybe it was the second attempt or so i think it wasn't if i remember correctly it was not the very first time i saw him may have been the second attempt that i started uh to use for this recording here so let's get back into um into this and fight him again. So I got better at it. I figured out that I can send a volley of songbird grenade shots here at that very moment by timing the shot so that I started before he's even in, in the line of sight. Uh, this way I get the second grenade cannon songbird salvo to stagger him already, okay? Making improvements as you typically get it here on this channel. I've done the same thing with various other bosses such as, for example, the Ibis weapon um, where I had also a lot of trouble with this guy. Uh, also, again, because because my setup was not optimal to deal with him because I also don't want to do the easy mode, right? I don't want to play this game with this ideal setup that just gets everything killed pretty easily. It's not what I want because if you get the game too easy, uh, then yeah, what's the point, you know? There is a challenge uh, for a reason and uh, I enjoy the challenge. I like overcoming this this problem, this the, what the enemy, uh, what the enemy, no, what the developers had in 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 uh, you know in store for you when they designed the boss, and yeah, bypassing the difficulty by running the most broken, overpowered things isn't really what I enjoy doing. So yeah, let's uh, let's do the best we can here. I've already ran out of all my repair kits again, um, and. So yeah, the actual end boss, because uh, this is literally the, one of the last things you're going to fight, at least in my playthrough, in the good ending. I don't even know exactly how different it will be if you have different endings. I know that this led to my good ending, which you're going to see in the next video, okay? So stay tuned for that too. If you like the content, ladies and gentlemen, you like the energy that I bring into my videos, consider subscribing, maybe even sharing it with your friends who also enjoy Armored Core 6. Uh, this channel is brand new, but it's already performing really freaking well for this. For this, We're getting more views on videos than we have subscribers, and we're 
you know, it's great. I, I think we're having a great development here. So it seems like it's working, what we're, what we're doing here. So again, if you enjoy it, consider sharing it maybe with a few people. Uh, it could be, it can only make the channel better. <laughs> All right, so yeah, let's keep going for the number thir thir uh, the third attempt. And this is the one uh, where um, it's the last attempt. The one that is successful. Okay, so let's enjoy a run that went better, that ended up into in in a in a victory here. Um, I also I have the sh and that's a thing that I really made made it difficult for me. I have this plasma rifle in my right hand, and I remember for the original Balteos that plasma weapons would do a good job against his plasma shield or energy shield, but it seems like either the shield just has so much power, or that the plasma weapons don't have this. Uh, this great uh, effect on him that they drop the energy barrier faster or I don't know it doesn't seem like his assault armor is being no wait it's uh, it, uh, assault barrier no oh wow god damn it I, I, I'm not every time I'm confusing which one it is um, it seems like it's it's not easily dropped by energy weapons now and here I'm trying to dodge him I understood that when I'm either underneath or above him that I have the best chance of avoiding these lasers but he does this weird spinning thing that that even when you're underneath him you still get hit by it and look he's doing it again how lame is that dude you, you just did that like literally 10 seconds ago or 8 seconds ago you already doing it again I don't know uh, it, 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 tell me but ladies and gentlemen if you fought this boss have you encountered him doing that move twice like literally so quickly in a row I feel like that was a very odd thing to happen right now you see I'm um, I have still a repair kit I'm very much full uh, but now I'm taking a tremendous damage so I got absolutely whooped in those seconds that I said it of course you know as soon as you say it <laughs> that's when it goes wrong never never praise something until it's done right because it's gonna it's gonna get you now I used my other repair kit and I'm still almost killed dude this is the last 15 seconds I got absolutely beaten by this guy but thankfully here comes the killing blow and uh, that was the most powerful thing probably to fight in the game did you experience any boss to be more difficult than this one here um, finally freaking snail is gone I'm so happy man never have to see this douche back again I hate him he captured us he he, he crap talked all the time about us uh, from the beginning till the end this guy was he had it coming man he freaking had it coming dude and we already beat him before in the previous mission uh, where we fought Cinder Kala and thankfully before got to take out his AC and now we got to take out this and uh, this was on the mission on Xylem battleship no Xylem city ship if we were to say it like that and uh, yeah the last one will be a very surprising end boss too but to me not really that much of an end boss he was so much easier to fight than V2 snail in his um, in his Balteos um, with the exact designation AAP07A why from software nobody can remember this anyways just call him Balteos the second <laughs> anyways thanks for watching and the next video you're gonna get the, the real ending and um, but not really a boss that's more difficult, I think. Yeah, so catch you then. Manny signing off, and thank you for your time.